Hello, this is James. Today, we're gonna be doing another Six Samurai deck because I made an error. When I did the pack opening, I got a bunch of doubles of like super rares like Rihan, and then I started, <sighs> how, am I, how can I make, you know, this pay to win deck? It's gonna be better than the free to play deck. We gotta focus on these super rares, but no. That caused me to pass over entirely the cunning of the Six Samurai. Send one face-up Six Samurai monster you control to the graveyard, then target one Six Samurai monster in either player's graveyard. Special summon that target. Do you know what that is? That is a double attack. That is the true free-to-play masked heroes. So, free-to-play is the way. Let's build the deck. So we're obviously going to be using three cutting of the Six Samurai. Uh, if you have a samurai monster out already, you can attack with it and then play Cunning of the Six Samurai. All you need to have is a samurai in your deck, and actually you can get back the one that you tributed uh, for Cunning. So if you have your one Grandmaster and you have another Six Samurai in your graveyard, you can tribute Grandmaster and then get him back and attack with him again. Uh, obviously, we're going to be using Grandmaster. Now, the thing about having only one Grandmaster, um, you can't use you can't use the A squad. You can't use um, what is it, Kamon and Zanji and Iro. Where are they? Yeah, this guy, Iro and Zanji, um, because they need the Grandmaster to special summon and make their abilities available. But what, so what we're instead going to use is the B squad uh, to, because they have a lot of uh, special summoning and making resources available, so we can work around having only one Grandmaster. So we're going to use three Doji again. When another six Samurai is normal or special, uh, you can send a six Sam from your deck to the graveyard. Uh, he's sort of a search monster. He's making those resources available um, so that you're drawing uh, your other cards and not drawing in your six samurai so that you can get them out of the graveyard. So we're gonna use three of him. He's the base of the pillar. And then the other, it's so hard to find because he's tiny. Uh, we're gonna do two of six samurai Kizaru. This is not because Kizaru is bad. He's actually like the most amazing of the B squad samurais, but because, well, because he has the highest attack. And uh, when he's special summoned, you can add resources to your hand, which is very nice. It's just that, you know, cause, I mean, you can go two Doji and and three Kizaru, that would work. I just, I just get greedy, I like to get the full combo, I like to have my Doji, and then I can protect him or revive him, and then uh, get another Samurai, and then send one to the grave, it's, it's, it, this is this is the these are the, the the this is the original ratio I wanted to use, but I was so focused on on Rehan. And then our last B squad ninja is uh, we're gonna have one Hatsume. So she's really really good, but only if you already have a bunch of samurais in your deck. And also her attack is is not great. So she's good for like a clutch draw. Uh, you just need that one extra monster. You can banish two Sams in the grave, and then get another one. Uh, from your yeah, and then you special summon another one from your graveyard. She does allow you to banish uh, six samurais from your field, but then but then you don't plus then you don't plus off of her. Then you can't get the 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 um, the the effects of having multiple six sams like all your multiple attacks. And then also uh, we're gonna use Great Shogun Shien, even if you only have one of him, he's really strong. Uh, your opponent can only activate one spell trap card each turn. So you, if you you know that you can tank an Amazonist onslaught, they pop Amazonist onslaught, and then you don't have to worry anything about anything else for the rest of that turn. And then we're gonna have, let's see here. Okay, so we're gonna have, again, we're gonna have our revival cards because Doji is gonna be sending stuff to the grave, and then we're gonna revive it. And then like the so the best thing is we have Doji. And then we send Kizaru to the grave, and then we special summon Kizaru with Return of the Six. And um, then he can give us an extra resource 
in our hand and that resource is going to be Hand of the Six Samurai. So this is the one A Squad Six Sam that I am going to use uh, because she combos so well actually with both of these cards. Like you can you can use her, you can tribute her and uh, destroy a monster, you can revive her or the other monster, tribute again. Uh, you can, if you don't have your double attack because you have Cunning of the Six Samurai, you can tribute her, um, soften up the opponent's field, and then attack, attack, and then Cunning of the Six Samurai, you'll get your, get your third attack. So, a uh, very good combo monster with um, both, both of these Samurai support cards. And then for the rest, uh, so I actually went, I went and got one, oh no, we don't have to search. I went and got one pack from the uh, Blades of the Spirits, the box where the original six Samurais came from. And all I wanted was an Iro, because I had uh, the one that, the purple one that destroys face downs. And all I wanted was an Iro, but I actually got a second Gyoke, which is, which is fantastic. Um, I love Gyoke, because it's so simple. Um, and Gyoke is actually the reason that we're not using Powerful Rebirth, because we don't want to clog up our back row too hard. Gyoke's going to lock down the back row, um, and it allows me to play my favorite game in Yu-Gi-Oh!, which is like the psychology of where did, where did your opponent place their money card? Like, are they a center person, or are they a, are they a right person, or, or, or the rarest, the, the left person? The, you, know, you place one, and then you, the second one's on the right, and then the third one is on the left. You have to decipher that, um, and you have to make your choice with your Gyoke. I, I actually prefer this to uh, Cosmic Cyclone, because Cosmic Cyclone costs LP, and since we only have the one Grandmaster, we're actually going to be taking hits so that our Samurais can survive, and then we can make, we can make like a big play. We're going to, a lot of times you'll be, you'll just not, you'll pass a turn, and then you'll make a big play on your next turn. Um, so, uh, Gyoke clogs up the opponent's back row, and then like you, and then you know, it costs you a back row spot. But back row is not as important. As long as you have one free space, um, you're good. And you know you want to lock down those Amazons and those um, uh, the Ultimate Providence from this from the Sylvans. Even though I've been seeing less of that. And then one enemy controller for making those sweet plays. Okay. And we're using Fields of the Warriors. Uh, you can use Restart, you can use uh, Dual Standby. I like Fields of the Warriors because it just, it just automatic, it's just protection for your monsters. Like, Kizaru becomes 2100, that's nuts. Uh, Hand of the Six is 18. Doji, uh, he becomes 1900, he has very good survive. He, it gives, basically, way of, Fields of the Warriors gives Doji very good turn one uh, survivability. So that's why we're using it. And then in our extra deck, we have uh, two Rihan, and that is only to be used, like, if you're winning. Like, Rihan's not a bad card, it's just that he's a, a win more card. Like, if you, if you have three monsters on your field already, um, and you have resources to banish, to banish one card that your opponent controls, like, you're, ar you're already winning. So this is, Rihan is for style, he's for, like, BFing your opponent. Okay. Character's active, yes. And let's go in some lab duels in the legend rank. And we're gonna ignore Tristan for now. I know everybody's been having uh, some problems with the Amazonist, getting the Amazonist Queen for the Amazonist farm, so I'm gonna do another Tristan uh, farm deck. Uh, and I think I'll just use the Ra Kisatai. Okay, starting duel. Tip, rank resets. Each rank reset. Oh, I didn't get to read it. And I finally got my black cat. For, well, no, I've, I've actually I've had this for a while. All right, Senshi from Taiwan. It's a Jesse, so Grit Sylvans. And we're going second. Fields of the Warriors. Oh, nice. Okay, so we have two Doge. And our enemy controller and a return of the six. Like this is 
This is just about as good. If, if only if only this was a Grandmaster, but we only have one Grandmaster. But if this was a Grandmaster, we'd have a perfect hand. And he passes his turn. Very interesting. And we draw a Gyoke. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna set that, and then let's uh, let's set this and set that, and then end of the battle phase and knock off some life points, and end our turn. Okay, so it's Transcendent Crystals. Discard two. And then he's gonna set, or he's gonna go rare value. Maybe set a Raigeki. Uh, but we're protected. All right, so he's gonna go Crystal Beacon. Okay, so this is, this is the Gravity Crush OTK. Um, there's the Carbuncle. And then the Carbuncle is going to special summon the two horse. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Carbuncle special summons the two horses, and then um, he's going to tribute that for the Gravity Crush, and then the, the two horses give him resources to use Gravity Crush. I assume he has like one back row card. Okay, so there's the there's the resources. Grab a crush. He's gonna. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, he's trying to draw into it. That's neat. Uh, let's just send. Okay, who do we want to send? Probably the horse. Okay. Sets. Or uh, magical mallet. All right. He's really. He's really. Really working for that grabby crush. Okay, so he had a card that he wanted, and then he just he just played one card for the Gravity Crush. All right, so he does get it, and then I'm thinking anti magic arrows. That's fine. We're gonna tribute. I guess we could have waited until he played the Gravity. Whatever. Anyway, we're gonna do this. In the main phase. End phase. Okay. Cunning of the six. Hmm. Turn that off. Okay, so we're gonna go Doji and Cunning of the Six doesn't really help us right now. So let's just go ahead and set that. And we're going to set our yoke. And then we're going to destroy these horses. Yeah. Yes, so we're going to send stuff to the graveyard. And this time we're going to send... Now let's send... No, let's... um. Let's send the hand. Usually I'd pick Kizaru, but now we're gonna pick the hand. And actually, all of these... All of these, um... Crystal Beasts is why... Is, is why we're playing Sogan, because... Attack point survivability doesn't really matter... Against, um... Does not really matter... Our use effective... Yes, so instead of letting our guy get... Destroyed, we're gonna banish. And then Gravity Crush is gonna go again. Alright, that's fine. And then he's going to attack directly. Alright, return of the six. And end the turn. this and then 
We're gonna go in defense position. Okay. It's the battle phase. Into the battle step. Alright, so he's, he's just waiting for the, um, he's waiting for this to expire, but that's actually a mistake. So we're going to get out our hand. Okay, and then hopefully we draw six Sam. Perfect! Alright, now we get to special summon our Grandmaster. So I actually misplayed. I should have, um, I should have just put him in defense position. But we get to win because of his arrogance. But let's not pick our own Grandmaster. So we destroy the Gravity Crush and attack directly. So you, so you see the, um, the, the cunning of the six that allowed us to make our our revival card permanent by trading it for um, another monster. You could have, he, I think, you could have also traded it for himself. Because then he no longer is is subject to the effect of um, the of the destroy effect. Okay, Yoshida, Legend Rank Three. Is Bones versus Joey Wheeler? Why am I talking like Jesse? All right, we're going first. Give me that Doji and that. Um, what's the revival card from? Okay. So we have a Doge, and a Cunning, and a Yoke, and a Great Shogun Shia. So we are going to Normal Summon our Doge, and we're going to... Yeah, let's set that and end our turn. Right, this is like some kind of 30 card garbage. Oh, Spellbooks. Looking for that Grass. Alright, so he has Fool. Send the spell book from your deck to the graveyard, and then you could still have grass. You can. Okay. So he sends secrets. Okay, I guess he's gonna copy it with master. Yep. Okay, so he copies it with master, and then he's gonna pull out probably another secrets. So he's showing me eternity. Uh, he's gonna banish. What's he gonna banish? Probably my Doge. I don't know, but if he have, if he sets a, a fate, uh, we can yoke it. So he's gonna he's gonna banish with fate, and then he's gonna do more stuff to draw another fate. Okay. So he grabs fate. So he has two in the graveyard, a secrets and a master, and then he. Okay, Fate, he's going to change my guy to defense position. Alright, that's fine. Sort of a weird play. And then Eternity is going to give him back his... Secrets, which he can still play because he hasn't played Secrets yet. Secrets is once per turn, but he copied it with Master. Okay, so Master and then Secrets. So he must have another. He's gonna pull another Fate. No, Spellbook of Power. Okay, so he's gonna attack, he's gonna power up the Fool. And then, wait, but then why change my guy to defense position? Maybe he messed up. Okay. So he's gonna, he's gonna power, and then that's gonna let him pull another, um, another spell book. And that, and that's gonna be a secrets, okay. All right, that's fine. It's really fine. Um, so we're gonna go Gyoke. Oh, and I think I okay. I finally nailed it down. The thing about Gyoke is that Gyoke versus Replica Zing Zen Hu, right? It 
Oh, and here we can get we can go for the double attack. I was about to talk and forget myself. Okay, so oh no no, but it's not for game. Calm, calm. Uh, the thing about yeah, it's not. It's not for game. End turn. The thing about Gyok versus Replica Zing Zen Hu is that Gyok says opponent cannot activate the targeted card in response to this card's activation, right? So it's a it's a step up from say, um, it's a step up from like the Sergeant Electro. Sergeant Electro tries to pin, and if it's if it, if you can chain the card, then you can chain the card. Gyok says you can't activate the, the targeted card. But you, there is a workaround for Gyok, um, which not a lot of people actually know. Okay, Strength of Prophecy. I don't know what that is. Wait, what's going on? Secrets. So if he banishes, I can, I can trade, I can use Cunning, I can send Kizaru to the graveyard and just bring him right back. Um, Oh, right. So the workaround with Gyok is that if you have two cards, you can you can chain the you can chain the card that's not targeted by Gyok, and then and then chain the targeted card to that card. So you can so that's how you, if you have two cards set, you can work around Gyok. But uh, for Zing Zen Hu, replica Zing Zen Hu, no cards can be um, ch no cards can be activated, so you can't use that. Okay, Spellbook of the Master, yada yada. So he has a power. Okay. He might banish my Gyok. That's probably what he'll do. Because now he has plenty of stuff in there for two for a double fate. Yeah. Alright, that's fair. And then power, and he's gonna destroy my Kizaru. Okay. Mm, no. And then that's gonna let him get another thing. That's gonna let him pull another card. Okay, so that's a weakness of Gyok. If if we had had um, if we had had Cosmic Cyclone, that wouldn't have happened. But then we'd also be down to uh, 2,100 life points. Judicious use of Spellbook of Power. Alright, so another Secrets. And this time, I think he's going for the... The Magician... The Searcher Magician, the Blue Boy. What's he called? Spellbook Magician of the Light. Nope, another Power. Okay. So he's just going for damage. I think Power is if you destroy a monster. Each time it destroys an opponent's monster, yeah. What's this? Strength of Prosty, you can suffer one spellbook from your graveyard into your deck, target one face of spellcaster on the field, increase its level by one and its attack by five hundred. Okay, wait, what oh okay, so just death. Alright, that's fine. We can draw very well. Okay. All right. So Gyok, bad in the uh, spellbooks matchup, but in fairness, I haven't seen a lot of spellbooks. I've been seeing a lot of Amazonas. 
All right, let's let's begin again. In Amazonas, even if you Cosmic Cyclone the, the Onslaught and pick it correctly, like, they always have more Onslaught. Like, every Amazonas deck has three Onslaught and three ways to search Onslaught. So, uh, I think that plugging up the spot, plugging up the slot in the Amazonas matchup, which thus far has been more common, is more valuable. Okay, Bandit Keith, we're going second. Field of the Warriors. And we have a Gilk, and we have... Oh, this is a good hand, okay. What is this? Alright, Cunning of the Six. Alright, so let, all right, I have no idea what this is. It's probably like some kind of baggy sleeves garbage. Alright, so we're just gonna Gilk the middle. And right, now here we could see the workaround, right? He could chain... I picked it, I targeted this card, he could chain this, the right card, and then chain the middle card to the right card, if you were so inclined. Um, but, you know what, let's just go for the damage. No, oh, uh, no we can't, because we don't have stuff in the graveyard. Alright, so we're just going to go Doge, and... We're just going to attack. See what kind of delay that we get. Right, so there is a delay. It's probably enemy controller. Alright, switcheroo. Needs to lose a thousand life points. Kinda wish I could see the card. Alright, so another set. Interesting. And we get another cunning. Alright, so now we're gonna go... Um... Hmm. Yeah, I guess, I guess we'll just go for damage. It's fine, alright. Uh, so, th so summoning Kizaru. Uh, we're going to get our... Yeah, so, so now our, our cunning is ready. Uh, who do I want? I kind of want... I kind of want... Hmm. No, that's a waste. We don't need that much. Okay, uh, I want Hatsume. This is why we run only one. Alright, so now we have access to her. And we have two cunnings. Uh, and that should be plenty, unless there's some kind of craziness. Even though, even if there's a wall of D, we can trade out our guys. So we're going to attack with the weakest first. Alright, there's a wall of the D. That's fine. Okay, yeah, okay, that was the, there was no delay except for during attack declaration. Okay. And then alright, yeah, we we have more than enough. Alright, so we're gonna go, we're gonna dump the Kizaru and get Kizaru back. Okay, and then that lets us activate Doji and Kizaru. Um, I mean, we're in the battle phase. This isn't, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna matter until unless we go to like a well, my turn six. Um, but we are accumulating resources, so Kizaru gives us a monster that's not on the field, and then we're going to put since we have two hands in our hand. Uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna put a hand in the graveyard. And, uh, let's go for the attack, and even if this gets blocked or messed up, we still have another cunning. BAM! See? It's like free-to-play Masked Heroes. That, granted, that was a, that was some kind of, like, very, very extremely passive strategy. Alright. Next duel. And we have DD Titan. If that's not a card, that should be. Playing Jesse Anderson. Jesse Anderson versus Joe Wheeler. J Joey Wheeler. Joe Wheeler. How do you do a New York accent? Okay. Uh, rocking the tag duels. Uh, rocking the tag duels playmat. And you need those slifer sleeves. Ooh. Ooh. Very good hand. Very good hand. Hmm. 
Uh, Alright, oh, Grit. Okay. So it's Grit Sylvans. Jesse's never play... Um, Jesse's never play Cyber Angels. I wonder why. Granted, that'll probably change. Because Jesse's a new character. But Okay, Double Rose Lover. That is a good thing that we have our hand. All right, great Shogun Sheehan. All right, all right. So we have we have both boss monsters. Um, yeah. All right, we're just gonna make this play. We're gonna go Doge, and there's a fat delay, so it's an enemy controller. And then we're going to special summon Grandmaster, and this is why you run three Grandmasters. And three. Uh, all right, since we had that fat delay, I know it's not an ultimate providence. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate Doge. Really long delay. All right, and then we're gonna get our Kizaru. So Doge, Kizaru, and Return of the Six. That's kind of the bread and butter combo. And then we get to special summon our great Shogun Shia. Yeah. Yeah, get hosed. Alright, and then we're gonna set this, and that should protect us from a Sylvan OTK. Uh, let's just tap that. So he must use enemy controller or he dies. Okay, there it is. Um, no. And we will end our turn. So I'm expecting him to kill one of my monsters, at least one, and then we can play hand. Um, because, so if he if he had a cool mushroom, that would actually be bad for us, because then we can't kill it with hand, and then we would have to flip it over by attacking it. But here, okay, so he, he special summons the tree, gets some martial leaf. Okay, so two monsters are gonna go. So he's gonna pop probably Xi'an. Now, do we want to destroy another card instead of Great Shogun Xi'an? Yes. We are going to destroy... Let me control one. Target one. Control one face-up Grandmaster of the six. Control face-up. Yeah, so... Yeah, I think this counts as being destroyed by a card effect. Oh no, it does not. Okay, never mind. But if he so like if he if he pop Grandmaster, Grandmaster comes back to the hand. Or well, you can pick any six samurai, but the, you know, usually you pick Grandmaster. Okay, does he have the? No, he tributes for Guardio. Okay. really wants to pop that Xi'an. All right, so there's Carrot Lover, there's a Guardio, and an enemy controller. Okay, so he's probably gonna be able to get out his Carrot Lover, most likely. He's gonna send, but that's his special and his normal. So no more monsters. Puts Marshall Leaf back. And then he's going to attack uh, probably into Doge. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. It's fine. I think we just win now. Yeah. Uh, so, ooh, another hand of the six. So let's, let's think about this. Let's just, uh, I mean, it's obvious, but let's just make sure. So we are going to... We're going to revive Doge, or yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna revive Kizaru. That's who we want. And then uh, he's gonna give us another resource, which is fine, we don't necessarily need it. Um, but then we can normal summon our hand, and, and then the hand and Shien, that's enough attack points. So he wasn't thinking about the hand when he, um, when he attributed his guardi oak for, attributed his tree for his guardi oak. And then we just attack, and attack, yeah, and that's game. Oh, but we should have worried about grit. <laughs> Alright, whatever. But anyway, the, the reason we tributed off uh, the Kizaru is because he was doomed with the... No! If you if the if the monster is going to be destroyed by the effect of um, the Six Samurai Revival card, you can banish one of your other B Squad members, right? They have all oh, they all have that effect where you can banish them um, for a you can banish them for a to to protect the monster if they're going to be destroyed by a card effect. If another Six Samurai is going to be destroyed by a card effect, yeah. All right, so we have Biddy. And Yugi Moto versus Joey Wheeler. And let's see some cunning. Let's see some cunning plays. All right, uh, we're going first. We got Fields of the Warriors, and we have a Goke. And then, oh man, this is another good hand. Oh, but we're going first. Never mind. <laughs> another advantage of Cosmic Cyclone over Goke is that. Cosmic Cyclone is just, it's just good whenever. Um, whereas Goke is, is only reactive, it's not proactive. Yeah. That's fine. Nobody, nobody plays around Goke. Everyone's just afraid of Cosmic Cyclone. So if you have a bunch of Gokes, you can sub them for Cosmic Cyclone. Like your, okay, what is this? Divine Wrath, Divine Wrath, Bujins. Okay, uh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so Hirume, and then, okay, a hair. So what he has in his graveyard is Sinew. If a Beast Warrior type monster you control. Okay, no, this is the one that's like, it's like a, it gives the, the Bujin Warrior a bunch of attack. And then, Bujingi hair. Uh, and this one, this one's like an impenetrable attack. Yeah. That's a problematic mill. Alright, so he attacks. Doesn't even need anything special. I was just about to say, like, this is why you, this is why you play, um, multiple Grandmasters, because then you can have them when you need them. Um... Hmm. But, he, okay, so since... Wait, okay. Wow, that really is tough. So he has he has both the hair, and it's a quick effect, or whatever, during either player's turn. I think it's a quick effect. You can banish it. It cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Okay? And then and then he also makes the, he gives the thing that makes the Bujin, like, impen like indestructible by combat. So that's really super tough, because we, we even if we went hand, um, he would banish the bunny, and then if we, hmm, hmm, yeah, 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 yeah. So if we if we just attacked into him, he would. He would use his sinew, and that would be the end of it. Holy, wait. You can banish this card from your graveyard. That monster your opponent controls. Gains, e gains attack equal to the monster's attack until the damage step. So he only gets one of those. But then he can still protect with the bunny. And bunny is what? During this turn, cannot be destroyed by battle. Hmm.
Hmm. Okay, I think I think this is what we have to do. We have to go hand and grandmaster. All right, and then we're going to and this. This, this this yoked card is probably nothing. This is probably just like one of the Bujin spells that he's setting as a as a um, as a bluff. And then, all right, so let's go. So we're gonna force him to overcommit. We're gonna we're gonna destroy the Mikazuch, and then he's gonna play Bunny. And then there's no point in attacking, right? Because he has he has sinew, he, our our guy would get destroyed. Okay, so Yamato. All right, that's that's tough. I don't think we win this one. Then Yamato's just gonna search more sinews and um, and bunnies. Yeah, so he's gonna go sinew and do a bunch. Oh, but you, it does half damage. Okay, so we still sort of have a shot. All right, and that's all right, and then he's gonna search another sinew. Search his hero may so he must have the sinew in hand. No, a quillin. Does he only have one sinew? If that's true, that's very strange. Okay, so quillin, but even if we alright, so we're just, we're just gonna play this out. Um, even if we kill, uh, we he still gets Popped by Quillen. Or by Mikazuch. So we destroy the Yamato. That's the most important thing. And then and then he's gonna pop our guy with Quillen. So these Bujins, they're like they're strong, right? But your whole playbook is just open to your opponent. So yeah, so he goes Quillen. That being said, I do have a deck for only one Yamato. Only one Yamato Bujins. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, and, but we get to banish Doji to protect from the Quillen. Ha! Ah. Okay, and then. Okay, I don't know what that is. Okay, so it's a Hirume. And then here we make him just attack directly. See, if we had some cunnings, uh, the the sinew would would be no problem. We would just attack into it. He would use up the sinew. We would take half damage, and then and then we could tribute our other. You know, we could have tributed our grandmaster, or whatever. So um, that, that's fine. And then we have to protect. Okay. Right, and we're going to protect with uh, Grandmaster in attack position, and then even if he gets all right, so even if he gets destroyed, like so he's going to get destroyed by um, whatever this traps effect, and then but we get to banish the Kizaru to protect. See how that works? Ooh, <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, all he has is a hero mate. Great. All right, so we're going. Wait, which one's the most problematic? Probably the one with more attack points. Okay, so we're going to uh, get rid of all of this unpleasantness. So, hero mate, goodbye. Wait. Well, oh no. What does it do? Now. Now. 
Always read the cards. Always read the cards. All right. Go Mikazuchi and then and then Hirume. Mikazuchi Hirume. Mikazuchi Hirume. Mikazuchi Hirume. And then okay, and then now okay, so now he has the sinew, and now he has victory. Always read the cards. Yeah. Oh man, we would have won. Mm. All right, so he's gonna go Quillen. All right, but this was very informative. That was good. That was good. All right, let's get one more. All right, we're playing Freddy's Legend Rank One. A my Valentine. I'm smelling the Amazons, and it is a good smell. All right, Fields of the Warriors. Draw our cards. Wait, who's going first? Did I say second? I think I remember a red coin. Okay. Hopefully we draw a spell. Hopefully we draw a joke. All right. Uh, so we're probably gonna go Doge, and then I guess we can special summon J Grandmaster. Gladiator Beasts! Hello! What's this? Oh, wow, Gladiator Beasts with no back row. That is not a good day for you, my friend. Okay. Um... Hmm... Yeah. Because Gladiator Beast plus Grandmaster is not lethal. It's 100 under lethal. Okay, whatever. Alright, so we're just gonna go Doge. And then Grandmaster. In attack position. And we're gonna activate his effect. Uh, we're gonna throw a hand. And then, again, uh, cannot have, do not have lethal damage. So we're going to set the Econ, and then we're just going to attack. And attack. And end the turn. That was a card. So again, uh, she has no back row. If she has any back row, she just drew it. We have a bestiary, we have a back row. And so she's going to attack. Wait, how's this gonna work for you? Okay, it's not going to, that's how. Alright, oh, sweet. Alright, we win. Alright, we're going to go Gyok. Onto this. And uh, and again, also, I think if you if you chain stuff to your own goat, then they can chain their your their card to, to your other card. Uh, and then we're just gonna summon this, and we're gonna put the glad beasts out of their misery. Uh, yeah, let's go Kizaru into the grave. So Doji, he's like the engine. He you don't want to draw your six samurais. You want to get them out with. Um, why do I keep forgetting what that trap card is called? You want to get them out with the trap card and with cunning. So Doji, he's like the vehicle for that. And then and then you're able to draw into your back row. That's pretty much how this deck works. All right, but let's go again. Let's go again. Um, beating an old archetype that got a terrible draw doesn't really count. Okay. And duel. Tip, high defeat, high attack monsters. Use block attack. Nobody use block attack, please. All right, Fabico Brill playing Jesse Anderson versus Joey Wheeler. Going first. So he's probably like legend rank two. 
Field of the Warriors. All right, we have a hand, we have this, we have that. Okay, this is good. Good medley. So when you're making a deck, you want the best you can at the really the best hand you can possibly ask for is like four unique cards. That's that's really you know the best that you can reasonably hope for, um, and that's why I really like the balance skill. Um, so you want to make a deck that you know any any four of your cards, assuming you're not getting all monsters or all spell traps. Any four of your cards can, like, do something. Alright, so we have... What do we have? We have... Sylvan's. And so he didn't like his ultimate providence and his carrot weight. And his carrot lover. Alright, whatever. Alright, so we're going to... Normal summon the Kizaru. Uh, we're going to set the return of the six. And we're going to keep enemy controller in our hand. This, um... Okay, return of the six. I should remember that name, that's a good name. Alright, so Return of the Six, like this is, I think this is Yarizawa, who, like, whose card is terrible, but whose art is really good. Alright, so he's gonna go Martial Leaf, going for the mill. Mushroom, and Enemy Controller, okay, that's fine. All right, now watch this back row. If we have a delay on summoning hand, then we have a problem. All right, and I don't think he can do anything else because he has no rose lovers and he used his normal summon. Okay, and then, ooh, cunning, okay. Okay, okay. All right, so we're going to, very important, pay attention, normal summon. Immediately, there's no delay on the normal summon. It is an ultimate providence. Hmm. I know we have game, I just want to make sure. It is most likely an ultimate providence. Or he's smart and he turned his toggle to off. Uh, either way, let's just go for it. All right, so let's, go, let's attack with the Kizaru. Destroy, and then attack directly with hand. Okay, nothing. All right. So, given that it wasn't, it was potentially an ultimate providence. I couldn't activate hand um, because then she would have been destroyed. It would have been negated and destroyed. Okay, it's definitely an ultimate providence. He's like, he's like, baiting me to use it. Uh, oh, we have great shogun Shien. Yeah. Okay, so obviously we're gonna special summon this. And then... So if we go, if we tribute, if we go hand and tribute her, um, then she will be destroyed. Right? She will get ultimate providence. But then we have stuff in the grave for our... Then we have stuff in the grave for our cunning of the six. So let's... Okay, again, this is like an easy one, but uh, we, uh, we should play this faster. Alright, so we're going to... Yeah, let's just activate hand, that's fine. So we're gonna, and we're going to tribute off hand herself, and so even if she gets negated, like, she's already in the grave. Right? Alright, so there's the ultimate providence. Negates the destruction. Okay. Now all we need is one attack. Proceed to the battle phase. Yes. Alright, so now we're gonna... Hmm. Now if we, if we attack... Whichever monster we, we attack, he has to destroy the other with Martial Leaf, if he gets Martial Leaf. 
So we need to... Yeah, we're gonna do this. So we're gonna attack with Xi'an. It's not even a co-mushroom, it's just a Rose Lover. Okay, we're still gonna do... So, anyway, so we attack with Xi'an, he's forced to destroy Kizaru, or, and then if he destroys uh, Xi'an, we don't care. So anyway, so he's forced to, to, to destroy Kizaru, uh, we play uh, Cunning of the Six, and... Oh, and we even get Kizaru's effect, and we're gonna add a, uh, a Doge to our hand. So, so anyway, that's Kizaru uh, adding up resources to the Six Samurais, getting those double attacks. That is the essence of the Cunning of the Six Samurai. Thank you for watching.